The man accused of killing his wife and one of her friends confessing to his mother on the phone after that shooting. <laughs> Ali Abu Laban was born on May 18, 1992, in Staten Island, New York, to a mother who was 15 years old and a father in his mid to late 20s. He spent most of his childhood in Manassas, Virginia. In school, Ali often got into trouble due to difficulty focusing and sitting still, and he was later diagnosed with ADHD while in high school. After graduating, he joined the Air Force and, in 2014, was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, where he met a woman named Anna, who was also serving in the Air Force. They quickly hit it off. However, following their meeting, Ali was discharged after allegedly assaulting one of Anna's friends. He returned to Virginia, while Anna went back to the Philippines. They stayed in touch, and Ali later found out that Anna was pregnant. He was able to secure a visa for her to live with him in the United States, and they later got married and had a daughter. During this time, Ali was working as a senior IT network engineer, which gave him a lot of free time. He began posting videos on TikTok under the username Jin Kid. His content featured comedy skits and impressions of characters like Tony Montana. Takashi 69. Yo, you got a bathroom here? Nah. Oh, I, yo, what'd you say to me? Yo, suck my dick, stupid. <laughs> yo, y'all know the fucking vibes? I'm a king of New York. And characters from the video game Skyrim. You can't hide from me. Get out! Must have been the wind. These videos gained millions of views, helping him amass nearly 1 million followers. In 2021, Anna, who had friends in San Diego, persuaded Ali to move there, suggesting that living in California would be better for his career. While living in San Diego, Ali began partying and developed a bad coke habit. Meanwhile, Anna started gaining a following on social media, which made Ali increasingly jealous and possessive. He became physically and emotionally abusive, frequently beating her and accusing her of cheating. After several instances of domestic abuse, Anna finally decided to leave Ali. He agreed to let her have the apartment while he left. On October 25, 2021, Ali waited for Anna to take their daughter to school. Using a copy of an electronic key, he entered their apartment and vandalized it. He then installed an app on his daughter's iPad that allowed him to listen to Anna's conversations. When Anna returned home, she discovered the damage and called a friend to pick up her daughter after school while she cleaned the apartment with the help of her male friend, Rayburn Barron. Ali had been known to be jealous of Rayburn, especially after Rayburn once commented that Ali was lucky to have such a beautiful wife. As Anna and Rayburn cleaned, Ali overheard Anna mention that she was planning to get a restraining order against him, along with the sound of a man's voice in the background. Ali was enraged and rushed to the apartment, where he shot 29-year-old Rayburn Barron before turning the gun on Anna and fatally shooting her in the head. Ali then picked up his daughter from school early and told her that he hurt mommy. He called his own mother and confessed to the murders before contacting the police, claiming that he had found his wife and another man dead on the couch. Five hours after the crime, Ali confessed and was charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Later, he retracted his confession and told reporters that the pursuit of social media fame drove him to violence and caused him to snap. Ali's trial began on May 1, 2024. During the proceedings, police presented audio recordings of previous abuse and the murders. <laughs>
as well as photos of the victim's bodies that Ali had taken. His mother also testified against him. Ultimately, Ali was sentenced to two life terms, plus an additional 50 years to life for gun enhancements. His daughter now lives with relatives while her father serves the remainder of his life in prison. Terry and Thomas, better known online as Mr. Prada, was born in February 2004 in Louisiana. Though little is known about his early life, he has publicly revealed that he suffers from bipolar disorder. In 2022, he began posting POV skits and ranting videos on his Mr. Prada TikTok account, quickly gaining over 4 million followers. However, in April 2024, he raised concerns among fans after posting videos with his head and eyebrows shaved, sparking speculation about his mental health. On September 29th, months after the unusual posts, the body of Baton Rouge therapist Nicholas Abraham was found wrapped in a tarp in a ditch along Highway 51, between Fluker and the village of Tanjipahoa. Abraham had suffered blunt force trauma to the head. Mr. Prada became a person of interest after fleeing a traffic stop in Abraham's car, crashing it, and then escaping on foot. He was later spotted on security footage inside a nearby store. According to an affidavit, Abraham was seen on surveillance footage entering Mr. Prada's apartment complex the day before his body was discovered. Witnesses reported seeing Mr. Prada dragging a tarp down the stairs and loading it into Abraham's vehicle. A search of Mr. Prada's home revealed blood, sharp objects, and other weapons. Two days later, Mr. Prada was arrested in Dallas, Texas. Following his arrest, internet users began investigating Abraham's background and discovered that he had been accused of sexually assaulting an 11-year-old boy in 2015. Speculation spread that Mr. Prada might have been the boy, as he was also 11 in 2015. However, the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office quickly debunked the rumor, stating that Mr. Prada was never one of Abraham's clients. As of now, Mr. Prada is in custody in Dallas and awaiting extradition to Louisiana. A court date has not yet been set. Claire Miller was a teenager from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, who posted typical content for her age, like dancing and lip-syncing, on TikTok under the username Spirits and such consulting. Her videos were lighthearted and similar to many other teenage accounts, but after her arrest, they were re-examined by the public. Internet users scrutinized her posts, searching for any signs that might hint at her mental state or potential motives, though nothing particularly alarming stood out. On February 22, 2021, then 16-year-old Claire entered the room of her older sister Helen, who had cerebral palsy, and fatally stabbed her with a kitchen knife. Claire then called the police and confessed to the crime. When officers arrived at the family's home in Mannheim Township, they found Claire outside, covered in blood, attempting to wash her hands in the snow. Inside the house, they discovered Helen in her bedroom with a stab wound to the neck, blood on her face, and the kitchen knife nearby. Despite efforts to revive her, Helen was pronounced dead at the scene. After her arrest, Claire underwent a psychological evaluation, which revealed that she had several mental health diagnoses, including gender dysphoria and auditory hallucinations. She sought a plea deal that would allow for a more lenient sentence based on her age and mental health issues. But it was denied due to Pennsylvania law, which requires that anyone 10 years or older accused of homicide be tried in adult court. Ultimately, Claire was sentenced to 12 and a half to 40 years in prison, 